So we had Fatech at the factory. So what's been going on the last few months? Hi Nicholas. Yeah, a lot, huh? You you are now in a total different factory like like last time when you visited us in February. We made a rework. We really needed more space for for our people. And uh, you see here um, Alexandra. She's right now writing a presentation for you and. Um, you saw it on our 55-inch um, uh, capacity touch table, which was also on the Hong Kong trade show presented. I guess you best make a video. To all, I, I think you should make a link to the video on the Hong Kong Hong Kong trade show. Nice. Um, what says? Um, this is now our new um, meeting room, which we now set up. Um, just finished. You are the first one sitting now here and um, setting it up. So you think many offices will have this as a desk? Let's see, um, from the fair I have already um, one even private uh, person who said I need this for, for my working environment. He's a, let's say, a graphic um, uh, worker and um, I, I made him all, already an offer, so let's, uh, let's see how, how it will work. Um, I, I think the main usage will be definitely in the point of sale um, or in the industry automatization. But uh, le let's see, uh, we, we will put it in our conference room, we will make two more here as a complete system. And everybody who will visit us has to, uh, has to sign an order for... for so what's the address? Japan. Shenzhen? <laughs> Hongmen uh, Technology Park. Just come in and the, visit. Right, in the Jiehua Road here in... Yeah. It looks cool, this, this area over here. So yeah. how about these products? Probably just shortly for, for your guys. Um, we, we have here first time, that's our embedded board. Which we, which we talked also on the fair about. Um, first, really, just now, uh, finally set up with the Linux operation system, and I think that makes it uh, quite, quite special that we set up um, our embedded uh, boards um, and we offer it with the Linux uh, system, with an Android uh, version. We, we support now also Android 4.4, and um, we are now working on a Windows um, CE solution that we really uh, provide all possible software um, operations you can use. Again, I, I mean, I, I would say you can have a look on the show, um, our, our 21 5 inch capacity, 15 inch. Um, we, we can make a short more information like this later. And then, yes, welcome to our completely reworked factory. It's still, let's say, on a way. It's not completely finished, but I think we, we slowly reach a, a state where we say, okay, this is um, how, how a German run factory should run. Uh, welcome to our completely renowned uh, Hello. marketing sales department. Hi. And um, yeah, you see here is the biggest change. Um, we have uh, now two foreigners besides me, Brina and, and Mindugas joining us, and that's I think really what, what helps that we um, are internationally, and Alexandra as an intern <laughs> from yeah. Germany, that we have an international team, a good combination of um, um, Chinese. Or Slovenian, Lithuanian, German, and that we understand. That and busy every day, uh, talking with customers, right? Too, uh, too busy, right? I mean, <laughs> Brina, yes. how, how hard is your life since you yes. joined Facebook? Well, we have a lot of different inquiries. For example, I'm in charge of direct industry web page. And you, uh, our customers can see like all of our products through this web page. And if you are our customers, you can just click uh, question, documentation, price, or where to buy, and I will receive your inquiry and I will reply it in well, one day. What is uh, in uh, this one? Direct it industry. It is direct industry. So it's like an e-magazine. You can see all of the. Uh, our uh, newsletters there, our por product portfolio, and everything you would like to know about Fatec. Cool. Yep. All right. And uh, you were at the Hong Kong fair, right? Was it busy? Yeah, we were. We barely had any time free to to enjoy ourselves and the fair. And actually, this Wednesday we're flying to to negotiate with an investor, so things might take off pretty seriously. Cool. So things are moving fast here of at Fatec. Now nowadays is completely crazy crazy that's cool all right so let's it let's continue like the tour <laughs> okay. all right so here's our launch meeting room but okay we will not use it but uh, so for for the fast uh, nice meetings we have now the sofa sofa corner huh? and then the only room which didn't change is our accounting accounting room <laughs> also the people didn't change i think you should know them all, and then we, we moved our quality um, department from the back of our factory to here, so really that everything is more in place. Also uh, directly um, to, to the warehouse, and um, li like you know, we do a more or less 100% incoming material tests. We, we make secure that really all parts are tested before they are put in stock and laid on the assembly line, and that helps us 
making it good quality. This was before our meeting room. I don't know if you still remember it. We made it now as a warehouse um, entrance. Also important really, before people was running through our company like and it was cows. And now let's say outsiders stop here, you are allowed to come further. But um, the warehouse goes in here and we made here a real big <laughs> room, let's say, where, where now all our knowledge is, is put into one place, for sure most important. My, my wife at the end who hides. Hello. She's, she's overseeing here, let's say, the um, sourcing department and um, the material workflow. And then we go, we go further here to our, let's say, engineer and, and knowledge department. The persons are really all more or less the same. Nick just is in Germany. He's making a training in, in, in Germany, one of our firmware engineers. But then we have um, our, um, let's say, cut designers here um, with, uh, um, um, with the girl who's building up the bomb list. She's now running somewhere here. Nathan, our most important guy, doing our chief of operations. He's uh, soon, I think, five years used to be now here. Huh? Yeah, almost five years. What do you do every day? Um, <laughs> uh, project follow-up and daily arrangement of all kind of ta task. Organizing the engineering yeah. in here, right? Yeah, it is. Right. Mm. There's a lot of work to do. You can ask everybody. Yeah. I would say everybody would say too much. Huh? But um, yeah, we have um, our um, uh, hardware specialist, uh, Jin Sung. He's doing the PCB designs. Um, that means every small um, daughter board we are doing, um, this is for example now a new backlight board he's testing, um, we, we set up in-house, we, we have, um, where, where is, um, okay, they are running around busy, but we have our two cut designers, we said, we have, um, then here let's say everywhere a project table where we, we, we set up, uh, prepare samples for the production or we make a special special um, products um, for, for, for customers. Here you see him working on our new Phase 00 board and uh, the IP65 uh, product, which um, we had also on the um, sample show. Our biggest change from last year is um, Leo. Um, he's really a total specialist in, in um, doing touch controller and touch panel design. So, so with him, we have now really the knowledge um, to, to not just um, um, develop the capacity of touch controller, but he's also doing the touch sensor design, and we are doing really the complete, um, what I told you also on the fair, the complete um, um, development of the touch panel solution. Um, from the cover glass over the um, um, sensor glass, over how to bond it um, to the touch controller and also the fine tuning. Where is one of our oldest, oldest guys? Right. He's, he's a specialist for doing um, the. Right now he's cloning something, but he's a specialist for um, our high brightness solutions. This one you, you can see. Uh, it's quite heavy. You can see um, on, that? on the um, rooftop video we made. That's an i5 fanless uh, 42 inch um, capacitive touch PC. Um, high brightness with 2,500 nits, and you see the the big cooling profiles. And um, oh. it's, it's really crazy. We had even, um, we make a ventilation between the um, FOG, the front LED, and the backlight LED because um, it's all sort of run in Saudi Arabia under oh. uh, complete high heats without the <laughs> air conditioner. And so, so we have a complete airflow to, to cool it down and, and um, yeah, that the customer doesn't have to use an air conditioner in the system. You, you have seen here our um, yeah, our 42 inch video wall, we had it with um, eight systems on the, um, on the Hong Kong trade show and now we, we just set it up. You're, you're also too, 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 too early coming. <laughs> we just set it up and, and we'll, we'll start um, also um, here, here testing it um, um, further to, to um, improve the fine tuning and um, make it running well. All right. Yeah. And then you, you have all kinds of apps you can open right. that do all kinds of things in different windows. Right. We are now right yeah, now we'll check back in one second. Yeah, you, can, you can just go here and say start, and then it should start over, over there. But yeah, ah. okay, it needs a little bit of preparation time. But I, what I want to say is what's really good here is um, the, the frame. Um, this is a mode we did. So, so this is our new design language. So we opened um, a case mode that we can now use, use for 32, 42, 55 inch, always the same, the same um, uh, case structure. Case structure. Yes. So that means you put the display in a, in, a, in a system, in a box. How does it work? 
<laughs> the, the, this one is a, is a box more or less. So, so it comes out of a, um, how to say, it's a 300 meter long alu profile, which is um, then cut into four pieces, and then you, we, we assemble it here together. And right in, the, we, we swip in uh, the, the touch panel and the panel, and then we close it. And that makes it a quite uh, nice and a neat structure then um, as a finish. And it's cool. Especially also quite stable. Yeah. So people at the Hong Kong Fair were pretty impressed by this? This was really um, one, yeah. Of people the, getting of ideas what to use it for? It's, uh, it's uh, let's say, the large size, uh, seriously. We are now starting um, to, to market this one. Um, it's always on the fair you have a lot of good feedbacks. Uh, let's see how, how it works on. We, we will produce it now first time in November. Our, let's say, main, main product quantity is still our um, smaller size. The, yeah. um, uh, let's go here. The um, 7 inch to, to 22 inch. So this is now uh, the warehouse entrance. And um, yeah, it's getting also. We, we had to improve really every department from last time we did. We, we um, en enlarged the factory and the point was on the rework that we give every, every department more space. And uh, the warehouse was, was crying for, for more space because it's uh, for sure we, we are growing. We are really um, quite, quite well growing the last years. And then so um, yeah, everybody needed more space. And the engineers have now quite a lot of more space, the warehouse. And we have finally a quite nice um, meeting room. Here, I think you you see everything. Better, better don't show. Oh. Here, no. Oh. This is still, let's uh, say, a little bit now the, um, uh, the warehouse uh, part. Uh, but um, for sure, important is our temperature room. We, we had it before. So we really have, um, it's always running, always checking out of our standard product um, improvements. We have here still our aging room. I have to say, we clean this now also up. It's now mainly used for the vibration machine and uh, the aging, as we can see, it is mainly used on the um, assembly line. We have a look over it, but um, just, just one, one short thing and that's quite funny and I really like it. My, my engineers, I, I say, come on, be creative, think about what you want to do. And this is um, our own uh, test model for doing optical bonding. It's a little bit a story like um, yeah, when we started up the factory, why I, didn't, why I started the factory because I was not happy with the delivery partners we found by 2008, 2009 when my wife and myself came to China. So we started doing our factory. First, uh, the touch panel on, on panel gluing, we tried to do outdoor because, uh, outside because we said, okay, there are clean rooms, they should be able to make the gluing better, but at the end we, we um, ended up in, in doing our own touch panel on panel. Gluing it now, I have a kind of déjà vu. We, we search for since a year for the right partners in doing optical bonding. That's what we do now. That you put a direct glue between the touch panel and the panel, that there is no air gap, and that Hi. improves improves the quality significantly. And uh, so, so for this, we search also for outside partners. But we really we, we had too much issues with them, and so we, we started um, um, let's say how to say our own invention and invested quite much time, and, and we do now in this machine up to 21 five inch optical bonded uh, panels, and it's really it's even that we do it uh, like ourselves the quality was directly better than when we work with outside partners, quite cool fancy machine we have <laughs> inside. The um, um, UV lamps on all sides, they are, um, um, they are cooled by fans and our engineers programmed that it, the panel automatically goes in the total right time in and out because on the UV cure it's important to have the um, right timing otherwise you, you destroy the, the glue or the panel and that's what we did here. Whereas also here we, we improved a little bit the size, um, we will still work on the improving and then let's say our our assembly line, like always, we produce here now around 2,500 products a month, not a day, but a month. And um, we, we start from the top here. We start from the front, go through. Important is we, we start with what I told you. We have um, our incoming material inspection, so every part, more or less, which goes on here is already tested, and then we go through. And um, on the assembly line, we have already our first testing. And um, once it's tested, it goes, we can run a little bit around, for example, here we have now a production from yesterday. Um, and, well, I think this morning we produced over 507 inch for a Japanese customer. And now they are put on the assembly line for, for aging and testing. And after they aged enough, we, we put them again in the test and then, and then we test. Besides, 
I mean, uh, we, we have the production process you have seen before. Michael is still overseeing it now also for, for yeah. soon five, I think over five years. And so it's, we really see for that the yeah. people uh, stay, stay long term. Here you see um, a 10.1 inch capacity touch PC production for a fitness machine manufacturer. We have him since 2012 as customer and that's really what, what we look for and what we strive for, that we build up long lasting um, relationships. This just works when we focus on quality, when we really focus on um, supporting the, the customer. Here's, uh, you see another 11.6 inch uh, touch PC production which we had on the fair. Yeah. And there, okay, but they are just uh, cleaning and, and packaging. That's the last process. And uh, they are doing the tests, end tests, and they are more or less just waiting for you. No, again, um, yeah. we are we are short. Um, um, it's uh, five thirty, and at five thirty we, we we stop and go into a um, dinner dinner um, break. So they are just doing the last uh, preparations and and work endings. <laughs> so then a uh, standard ten inch touchscreen monitor, um, our most produced product, I think, um, in in our history, which goes on the assembly line. So. so as consumers of, of consumer tablets know, quality of tablet is not easy. So this is, uh, you do, you, your, your tablets work for years. It's, um, I mean, mainly the touchscreen monitors. And I have to say, definitely, we really focus on industry customers. Um, that's, that's our point. Um, I, I can't compete, let's say, with uh, large quantity manufacturers and definitely as a German looking for quality, we can't compete with the cheapest tablet manufacturers in China. And when, when somebody asks us always, oh, can you, okay, I understand you do industrial, so, so can you suggest a cheap uh, um, uh, tablet manufacturer? Yeah. I have to say, okay, I press my thumbs. Um, I, I don't make any suggestions because the ones we we tested before are normally gone after three, four years because they focus on something else. We, we are, let's say, we focus on the long run, that you also work in five or ten years with us, hopefully then in a new building with more stuff and more knowledge like today. All right, so you display stay for l lots of years, but maybe the, the boards or the PCs can be changed? It's, um, it's, we, we design normally for minimum 40,000 hours usage. Um, our main boards are designed for 100,000 hours usage. That means when you go 24-7, you, you fastly reach five to 10 years operation, which should be no, no issues on our systems. Cool, so what's gonna happen in the next few months? <laughs> what more stuff are you gonna do? I'm uh, quite happy now with uh, the, the rework. What's that? It's, we are still not clearly reaching German levels, but I think now it's just fine tuning and then we have everything in place and everything cleaned up. We will focus on um, um, to better organize everything. Documentation is a point. We really need more people. We are growing and we are searching strongly for engineers and good salespersons. Project also um, managers to handle. And then more or less the next, you just ask for the next months, um, we, we will keep on growing um, like we did always before. So if a customer wants a custom project, what are the requirements? What are the, how can you deliver, or what is MOQ, or how would you say? It's, um, we, we, we really start, let's say, the project must be interesting. Probably here we, uh, we show just something totally, totally different. We, we um, set up a, um, this one as a, as a PC for a customer. And um, he, he plans to, to do this as a new desktop PC with uh, two monitor arms. Yeah, and um, the idea is quite, quite interesting. I don't want to say now, now too much, but to make it short, um, for an interesting project uh, where, where it, we feel like we fit together, then for sure, we, we start it. Um, target should be that you have at least something like a 200 pieces yearly demand, then, then it makes sense for us and makes sense for the customer. Um, we are the specialists for doing, let's say, uh, medium, small sized uh, productions. You see it on our assembly line, 50 pieces, 100, 500 pieces. That's where we are good in, where we, um, at this small quantity levels compared to probably others, we see for a real good quality and a price advantage against others.
And governments, uh, small governments, cities and stuff, they also talk with you. Not just private companies, or how does it work? <laughs> Mindugas is quite excited because he had on the Hong Kong trade show now a uh, big um, um, uh, Chinese um, uh, trade zone which wants to get us in, and that's for where he's flying on Wednesday. And uh, definitely there is interest. Um, we have um, in, in Malaysia government some projects. We are now working in India on a larger um, bus, uh, um, bus project. Um, so, so yes, definitely. In Tunisia we have uh, uh, police cars, in Brazil we work with the police. In, in, the, Western, in the Western world we have still not so many um, government projects, but let's say in the more developing countries there are already a lot.